soaps, body lotions, and toothpaste, some of the most common items to find in the house. I bet all of you have one. What if I told you that five years ago in these common items, there was a compound that leads to cancer and hormone disruption? That's right. Luckily for the ones who live in North America, this compound, trichocarbon, is banned by the U.S. food and drug industry in 2017. But what if I told you that a lot of countries outside of North America hasn't banned the use of this compound? Countries such as India and China are still using trichocarbon and triclosan to produce body washes, soaps, and toothpaste. These countries are at risk due to the effect these compounds can bring. So what is triclocarbon? Triclocarbon is a white powder-like compound that is insoluble in water. It is made out of five different elements. Its chemical formula is C13H9 Cl3 and 2O. And its chemical structure looks like this. As you can see, there's two chlorinated phenol rings, and this structure is very similar to the structure of compounds that are used in pesticides. Now you might ask, why should I care about this, or how does it uh, affect me? Well, if you live in a country that hasn't yet banned the use of triclocarbon, it can directly affect you by when you apply it to your own body or mouth. It can disrupt your hormone and endocrine, which will eventually lead to cancer. Now, how does this use of compound harm the environment? So for example, when you're showering, you use body lotions to clean yourself or soaks or if you like to brush your teeth and shower. So the compound goes in water. Remember, the compound is not water soluble, meaning that it will uh, travel with water as a white powder-like substance. So when you shower, it goes down the sewer into a lake, and then it can when it goes into smaller organisms in the lake, for example, like algae or fish, uh, it can harm their endocrine and hormone. And then after the fit, and after smaller organisms consume triclocarbon, it can eventually go up the food chain. Now, after hearing me speak for so long, I hope all of you understand the effects triclocarbon can bring to society and to the environment. And I hope triclocarbon can be banned worldwide.